वेलकम टू ड्यूडियर अकेडमी दिस वीडियो डील्स विथ टाइप्स ऑफ फीवर इट इस अगेन द कंटिन्यूशन ऑफ द वीडियोज दट हैव ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड रिगार्डिंग द वाइटल साइंस इफ यू लाइक दिस चैनल सब्सक्राइब इट एंड प्रेस द बेल बटन टू गेट द नोटिफिकेश सो द फर्स्ट टाइप ऑफ फीवर इज कॉन्स्टेंट फीवर और कंटिन्यूस फीवर हियर The body temperature fluctuates minimally but always remains above normal throughout the day. That is known as the constant fever. The body temperature is always it is remaining above normal value throughout the day but the fluctuations are only minimum. That is it does not fluctuate more than 2 degree Celsius in 24 hours. that is constant fever or continuous fever so constant it remains constant that is a uh, temperature always it remains above the normal value throughout the day so it is constant but the temperature fluctuations are minimum body temperature remains elevated throughout the day for a period of days or weeks but it does not fluctuate more than 2 degree celsius in 24 hours it is seen in typhoid meningitis urinary tract infections and all this type of fever is seen that is constant fever or continuous fever the next is remittent fever remittent fever here the temperature remains above normal throughout the day the temperature remains above normal throughout the day and fluctuates more than 2 degree celsius in 24 hours Okay, that is known as the remittent fever. The term here is uh, similar to the constant fever. That is, it remains above normal throughout the day, but the fluctuation is more than two degrees Celsius in twenty-four hours. For the constant fever, it was not more than two degrees Celsius. Here, it is more than fluctuations are more than two degrees Celsius in twenty-four hours. Example. in case of infective enterocarditis remittent fever is seen next is intermittent fever or quotidian fever intermittent fever or quotidian fever here the body temperature alternate at regular intervals between the periods of fever and periods of normal and subnormal temperature okay the temperature is alternating that is the temperature alternates regularly between a period of fever and a period of normal and subnormal temperatures okay that is known as the intermittent fever temperature rises from the normal to high fever and back at regular intervals okay temperature is rising from normal to high fever and comes back to the normal level at regular intervals the temperature returns to normal at least once in 24 hours it is seen in malaria that is intermittent fever or quotidian fever next is inverse fever inverse fever is the highest range of temperature is seen in the morning and lowest in the evening it is contrary to the normal course of fever the normal course of fever the temperature is higher in the evening and uh, lower in the morning but this is just opposite to the normal course of fever that is known as inverse fever it is having the highest range of temperature in the morning and lowest in the evening next is the relapsing fever here we can see the short febrile periods for a few days followed by period of one or two days of normal temperature relapsing short febrile periods for some days for few days and then we can see a period of normal temperature for one or two days that is relapsing fever next is irregular fever irregular fever here the temperature is entirely irregular in its course the fever is entirely irregular in its course it is known as the irregular fever
Next is hectic or swinging fever. Hectic or swinging fever. Here the difference between the highest and the lowest point is very high. Then we can call it the fever is hectic. The difference between the highest point of fever and the lowest point of fever is very high. That is hectic or swinging fever. Next is rigor. What is rigor? It is the sudden severe attack of shivering. Sudden severe attack of shivering in which the body temperature rises rapidly to a stage of hyperpyrexia and it is seen in malaria. So it is usually asked in malaria. Rigor is seen in malaria. Okay. So it is a sudden severe attack of shivering in which the body temperature rises rapidly to the stage of hyperpyrexia. What is hyperpyrexia? The temperature is going above 105 degree Fahrenheit is known as hyperpyrexia. So in such a case there will be shivering for the patient. Again we can classify this pyrexia into low pyrexia, moderate pyrexia, high pyrexia and hyperpyrexia. So in low pyrexia the fever is not rising above 99 to 100 degree Fahrenheit. In low pyrexia, the fever does not rise above 99 to 100 degree Fahrenheit. In moderate pyrexia, it is between 100 to 103 degree Fahrenheit. The temperature is between 100 to 103 degree Fahrenheit. And in high pyrexia, the temperature is between 103 to 105 degree Fahrenheit hyperpyrexia the temperature is beyond 105 degree Fahrenheit next is hyperthermia when the body temperature is raised to 105 degree Fahrenheit or above we can call that condition as hyperthermia when it is above 105 degree Fahrenheit if there is hyperpyrexia we can call it as hyperthermia Hypothermia means if the temperature is below 95 degree Fahrenheit, then we can call the condition as hypothermia. Okay. So these are the different types of fever we have discussed. That is the constant fever, remittent fever, intermittent fever, inverse fever, relapsing fever, then irregular fever, hectic or swinging fever. Then we discussed what is rigor and also the pyrexia is classified into low pyrexia, moderate pyrexia, high pyrexia and hyperpyrexia. Again we studied what is hyperthermia and hypothermia. Then what is subnormal temperature? When the body temperature falls below normal, it is called as subnormal temperature. So usually the temperature is between 95 to 98 degree Celsius, 95 to 98 degree Fahrenheit, sorry 95 to 98 degree Fahrenheit or 35 to 36.7 degree Celsius. So if it is below this value, we can call that as subnormal temperature. Okay, thank you. So thank you for watching this video. Subscribe the channel and share to your friends.